The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Panic is spreading throughout a major city as the aliens move through the streets. We have to get a handle on this situation. Sectoids walking through the streets, going to banks, making withdrawals. Any Wonderland says, the only time I was ever in a campaign was when Beagle sold spots on Patreon. I sold spots on Patreon? What? Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. I remember that. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Don't you remember? No? Huh? When was that? Back in like 2014, I remember it being a thing. Did I like use the Patreon name list or something? You direct a little flag of a Lego man too. I vaguely remember that, but but names in the campaign? I don't remember selling spots ever in my career, and I don't remember you either, Wonderland. I don't remember you being a soldier. Can you cite a source on that? Because I think you offered nicknames. 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 I said that if you're in the Patreon, you could like submit a nickname to get submitted into the random nickname pool for when you hit Sergeant. I've never sold actual raffles. Because for obvious reasons, that's always felt icky. You fuckers. That is gaslighting me. You, you literally were gaslighting me right there. You say you redact the claim. Thank you. You were polite, so I won't send you to jail this time. And if you do it again, straight to jail. Super max. We have motion tracking. Says there's contact, like, over here. So roof or low. Probably over the back. Because know what gaslighting means? Yes, it is. You are gaslighting me when you say that. Sa Sammy literally said he was gas- he thought we were gaslighting. He was literally jumping on the gas- Oh, you're doing it to me. Oh, you're doing it to me, you little fucker. Time out for 73rd turtle, effectively gaslit me. Reason gaslit me. Hmm. I have HE grenades, I can just go through the middle of the bank. Just be worried about what might be on my left. Let's check out the left of the motion tracking. Banger says this channel is run by tyrants. Correct. I I got only the best tyrants. Okay, contact on the other side as well. Somebody says amazing idea though. Let Beagle bid on let people bid on soldiers throughout a campaign. Whoever pays the most gets the name, and the next person to pay more than them gets to set the soldier's name. Oh my god. That is such a fucked up idea, I've never even conceived of it before. So like, you've got like this cool soldier. Think how much dollar. You've got like this cool soldier. That like... <laughs> is doing all this cool stuff. And then someone just pays more money than you. And now it's their soldier. That's so fucked up. <laughs> Not even selling the raffles. Auctioning them. Not even auctioning them. Continuously auctioning them over and over again. That makes so much. That would make so much money. It's tempting, but I think the only way I could ever do that is like inside its own like locked off fundraising stream where everybody understands. Like that's that's so fucked up that I could not do that in any normal campaign without it being like you know what you're getting into when you try to like. <laughs> Like, there's no- there's no real raffles in this one. It's- it's all, like, auctions. Sammy says they want it just for the hilarity of watching someone pay $100 to a super soldier and they die that mission. That's the most fucked up shit I've ever heard. But that could, like, literally set me for life. I'll- I'll think about it. Yeah, I could have so many working toilets. I'll think about it. For, like, a charity for Beagle, a fundraising stream. We'll do it on, like, Christmas or something. Like, on the holidays, on Christmas. <laughs> we'll do like a short war campaign. We'll do like a, a, a month long campaign of XCOM, like a vanilla XCOM or something. It's just all. <laughs> That's the rule. Not on Christmas. Not, not literally on Christmas, but like around Christmas, on December. 
Yeah, name those little landlords. Alright, anyway, we've got a mission to do right now. Before we worry about that crime that Sammy one day might will into life. Two enemies on the left. And they're around here. And now, two or three on the right. It's like, it's like NFTs, oh god. It's like NFTs about consent. Uh, fuck. Do you sort of try to do for himself? I'm trying to do that every day. How do I play this? I think going right is better. Or I go really hard left. There's only two enemies and I just like bully my way through it. And then the left side is a lot of cover. Okay, actually probably just go left and like bully my way through. I just don't activate the fuckers on the, on the right, I think. It's probably the way to go here. Just bully my way through the, the left and ignore the right. Double time. Yes, sir. Bum, bum, bum. Time to motor. Moving get away from that window so we don't get L-shaped, because that would fucking suck. Eight dollars a month for a verified on an ice cam? Oh no. I oh, just little couple floaties! Oh, they've got the full cover! You little fucking shitbags! We have a flonker here, but we have to kill that one before we can take it. If only copper bombing was an option, as opoyable, you could avoid having to fight through all these maps. Yeah, um, check out Ro Sigma on the weekends when I play it again. You'll, you'll really vibe with the tactics there. I think. Pretty much what you're describing. Do I have infantry shots to blow through the guy on full? No, I don't. That sucks. Hey, is something going bad for Beagle? Yeah, Beagle's responsible to that will be... Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. The thing I want to happen to murder my ontologically evil enemies isn't going to happen for me. Oh, that sucks. Man. That's affirmative. Oh, fine, I guess. <laughs> oh. My my enemies are being destroyed and smited by serendipity and good fortune. Oh, this is this is great. I love being a skilled player who's very good at things. Oh, great. Poggers. Please shoot this good on Gangplank. Okay, so we have two over here. Yeah, God wills it. The Emperor fucking wills it. I, You know when Trump won the elections and, like, they started doing all, like, the cringe God Emperor Trump shit and conflating Trump with, like, 40k Emperor? And, like, I didn't have much fun thinking about the Emperor during those times, and I feel like it's 2022 now. Like, enough time has passed since those times. Dark Tide and Rose Sigma, I feel like, are bringing it back around. I feel like I can pray to the Emperor again. I feel like we're taking the Emperor back, do you know what I mean? Yeah, the, the Emperor of Mankind could be cool again. God, Emperor Brandon, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Moving out. That dark Brandon meme is so fucking stupid. But it also makes me laugh. On my way. Helps that the US had a huge democratic win for Mitters making Trump less relevant. Yet also he's staying in Mar-a-Lago for the storm, so he might just get blown away in a tornado. Okay. Moving to position. That's right. Space fascism is more fun and real fascism is less prevalent. That's right. 
Why it helps with 40k that the Emperor is like actually meant to be a cool guy. It's just that everybody worshipping him missed his point. I'm pretty sure like the canon has always been of the Emperor in 40k that he was like, please don't worship me as like an idol or a god and like please do good things and then everyone was like based um we're gonna worship you as an idol after you die and we're gonna do bad things Ancredon says he was a abusive asshole though huh explain we burned planet to the death to scold his son oh he he's a shithead then he's a shitler just like god Asian Google Papuri says the best meme is that the Emperor can't eat cheese because he was born before humans developed the ability to process lactose past childhood. Oh, so the Emperor's like Incredon. He was never a good guy. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, I've just been lied to then. I'm rolling. I've been told little fibs. He signed a contract with Chaos to create Space Marines in the first place. What? What? Oh my god. I've just been, yeah, I've just been falling for the propaganda, apparently. Holy shit. It has, it have, has this been re revised in like the last five years since I first learned about it? Or is it just like, I was just getting told the IRL Imperial propaganda by like, other neckbeards. What's going on there? That's... What's going on? That's crazy. What's going on? No, he's always been a fucking monster. Oh, boy! Okay, never mind. Well, when we pray to the Emperor... Um... You're doing it ironically, Beagle? No, just understand that when I pray to the Emperor, uh, I'm doing it like I'm a dumb... Feudal world con conscript pressed into service in the Astro Military who doesn't know any better. Sorry, that's my new thing. That's my new excuse. Got it. Activation good. Sorry, coffee, Commander. Get ready to move up to there, but don't do it just yet. Heading out. I'm on it, Commander. No, I'm not doing any center stream thing. Uh, BS Benz is the Emperor's vengeful, therefore you prayed him because you're a scared little bitch. Yeah, I, I should definitely pray to the Emperor so he doesn't, like, fuck me. Fuck me up, that would be bad. I'm on the move. Please don't fuck me up, Emperor. Position confirmed. You're out of date, Beagle. The Emperor even planned for the heresy to happen. Chaos just activated early unexpected. What the fuck? Is he Zench or something? What the shit? I've never heard of any of this shit. What the fuck? I just heard he was like a generational immortal. Who was like trying to hold things together. This, this is this is some crazy propaganda. I heard the level of propaganda they do on the educated guardsmen. Shit. I I got fucked up on it. Got it. Pius says, I think somehow Beagle got only honest Pius and the Emperor confused. Who? Sorry, that character doesn't exist anymore, remember? Aye, aye, Commander. Got something over here. A good solution to if you've been forced by the game as the aliens to run a light mission is to just stack all of your pods in one spot. Very clever. Very wisdom. go in here. 
Okay. And then we go in here. And then we bring you in here. One, two, three, four. Fuck, you get me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fuck, actually, might be able to flank me there. Shit. That might have been like a. Oh, shit, you can grenade me to I move up because they don't care. They cheat, I forgot. Oh fuck, they can just grenade me. I should not have moved there. I was thinking like, in terms of the aliens not cheating, I forgot about their cheats. Oh shit, bad idea. <laughs> Epic bad idea, Beagle Rush, Snarf! I should give you a tap. Bank walls are notoriously thin and destructible, so we might just be able to blow through them too. There's a tip for you guys, by the way. In video games, I mean. Sniper cannot see anything, unfortunately. Let's try and finish you off on 49. Nope. Adjusting aim. 66. I told you. No longer it's incredibly easy to blow through the, at least the outer walls of a bank. If you didn't know that, now you know it. It's very easy, it takes very little force, and there's all sorts of applications for that. You just need a las gun? Yeah, you just need a laser gun. Guys, the thermal drill! It's just, a las gun is just a thermal gun. It's just a thermal drill. It's the same thing. It is literally the same thing. Please, listen to me. I'm trying to explain this to you. do now? Probably just some more shots, I think. We just need to put some damage out. Oh, yeah. See you in hell. Oh, yeah, daddy-o. I can't stop. I can't stop. Do you like my song? I'm going to do it again. Oh, cap. Thank you. I forgot I need to cap. Let's try and cap that mute on this mission, remember? That is another good reason to run the engineer in, but the grenade is a reason to not do that. Evil Ghost says, still can't believe Kadia canonically died from just an evil fidget spinner crashing into it. Oh, is that what happens? It describes a lot of Chaos's tech now that I think of it. Still, what a shame. Heading to that location. Yeah, mutant or floater cap is good. Yeah. We'll come over to here. On my way. I think we'll hunker you. And we're just gonna do a little smoky right here. Three, five, seven, 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 five, three. Three, five, seven, 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 five. Five, seven, seven, there. That should get the medic and the infantry. You can't both? Nope. Here comes Mr. Muton. Great move, floater. You're so clever, you're not an idiot. You're smart. What, what a smart guy. 
Wow. Now we seem to do a little bit more snarfing over here. Snarf! Ooh, well snarfed. Good job! Nailed him. Ingrid says, anyways, Rebigal says he simp for the Emperor. So no, no, hang on now. Now I don't simp for the Emperor. The Imperium of the bad guys in 40k. I'm just saying it can be fun sometimes as a treat to pray to the Emperor. Because we tried this during the Tarkov stream. There aren't many good alternatives to pray to that, like, both sound good, but also, like, aren't real world, you know, problematic to be praying to. Everyone's the bad guy in the 40k. Yeah, but the Imperium are, like, some of the biggest bad guys in 40k. There's some of the waste. Mind you, you can't summon too many vehicles as ammo conservation? Yeah. What about Carl Franz, who is both Prince and Emperor? Carl Franz is a pretty cool guy, yeah. I think Carl Franz is a pretty cool guy. Top point of 40k is no good, guys. Nah, that's dumb. That's, that's not to say that, like, you can't call the Empire the bad guys, though. Like, you can say, like, that all the factions, like, none of them are, like, good. That's kind of like the real world. There aren't really, like, any good nations, you know? Like, borders are not your friends. Like, nations and, like, nationalism are generally never good things in the end. Um, but you could still say the Imperium are fucking bad guys, and that'd be true. Even if you have a fave in 40k, they're, they're all problematic faves. Imperials are like the biggest bad guys. Well, I'm talking about in the sense of, like, when someone's saying simp for the Emperor, which is like, oh, so you support the Empire then? Like, I mean, morally, do you support Tyranids before the Empire? I mean... <laughs> Like, in a hypothetical discussion of, like, moral stances. Because, like, the Empire, like, stands for, like, genocidal extinctions and slavery and lots of bad, intentionally cruel things. And the turn is just E. Like, it's just like the Orcs. Hey, Beagle, can you get some of those X burgers on the way back? Huh? Eating some right now? Great burgers. The best before a YYS. Humanity's finest. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm allowed to get you some bergs. Like, when we get into real talk, yeah, we, we prefer the, M the Imperium to being eaten. But if we're talking, like, political beliefs, I don't think the Tyranids have any beliefs beyond eat everyone. So, you know, it's a little bit different. <laughs> like, to as, like, a connoisseur of the fandom to then be like, I support the Tyranids. Okay. But if, like, you're like, I support the Empire, like, you can literally draw that to... Oh, like, you're actually, like, in support of fascism, which has bases in real life? <laughs> well, I support the Tyranids. Alright, well, I'm not gonna worry about the Tyranid player, the Tyranid supporter from 40k, going out and voting for the Eat Everyone party. You know what I mean? Well, I guess that's accelerationism. Anyway, this is a stupid conversation. I'm getting back to XCUB. <laughs> this is a dumb conversation, I've suddenly realized. Will WKM says, I think eating is wrong, anyone who eats is evil. Okay. Well, Incredon is your candidate. Yeah, boring conversation anyways. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to say, man. Being an Empire fanboy is way more of a red flag to me too, yes, than any other faction's fanboy. Exactly. That's all I'm saying, yes. If I hear someone's like an unironic, em em like, Imperium 40k fanboy and thinks they're like, good guys, I'm concerned. That's concerned. That's all I'm saying. When I make one little offhand comment of the Imperium or the bad guys. It's like, that's all I'm saying. It's concerning. 
And yet you pray to Emperor Cruz, and we've come full circle. And we've come full circle with that argument. Fabulous, fabutastic. Solid copy. Orc fans are okay. I find I think orc fans are fine. Yeah, orc fans are fine, I think. Oreo Soul says, I mean, it's kind of a red flag if someone thinks they're good guys in 40k. Eh, is it? Tau, we're, Tau, I think, are still the less evil and were just blatantly good until they literally rewrote them because people were mad about that, as I understand it. What about the new, uh, the Squats, the Vol Vol Votan or whatever? What have they done that's bad? Yeah, and, and of course the people like caught in the Empire aren't necessarily the bad guys, that's right. Joe Schmo the Catachan isn't necessarily a bad guy. Though he probably is too, honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't trust the fucking Catachan. I'm too, I'm too like noble-blooded. I would definitely be fragged in a Catachan unit. But I guess that makes them the good guys still, and me the bad guy. Yeah, I'm thinking about it, Bounty. I'm thinking about grenading open sightlines so we can get a gunner to suppress here. We're just trying to suppress this Muton to go for the cap. The downside there is that I lose the ability. The downside is that then I lose... I lose probably the ability to get the meld on time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I don't think I'd have enough open shit here though to get it done. All right. Yeah, exactly. Tyrant. That's what I was trying to say. With morality versus impact. Tyrant is like animals, right? They just want to eat. Just like if, like, tigers ruled the world, and we were always being eaten by tigers all the time. Like, I stopped streaming, I get eaten by a tiger. I stopped- I want to stop being distracted. I want to stop talking about this conversation. I'm gonna- I'm gonna put Blade up. No more. No more conversation. I'm done with discourse. One... I've had enough discourse. That's enough. Basta! It's enough! No more discourse. When can I see the Muton? I would like to see the Muton. I think I've been seeing the Muton the whole time. Yeah, I, I see now. I've been seeing the Muton the whole time. It's just kind of like hard to see because it's down there in the bushes. Fucking hell. Buddy, can I please see that ring? Show me that ring. There's the ring. Okay. So to get to this car, I get fucked up. What about to get over here? I think getting over there, it's fine. Yeah. Let's so bring okay. the gunner back to here. You're gonna hold there. I'm rolling. I'm on the move. I'm gonna move you back to here, and then hopefully we're gonna get suppression on you after this turn. I'm gonna bring this gunner down to here as well. We're hunkering. Hunkering. There's a lot of hunkers this turn. Hunkering. 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 Steady. Because we want to cap this guy, we don't want to kill him. Okay, now comes the suppression. Hopefully I'm covering fire. Easy. You think the cyber and with a with a solid aesthetic? They have a solid aesthetic, but they're like run by like a crazy scientist, which immediately I think is a bad sign. Gotta cut the meat on that. That's what we're trying to do. 
Ingrid says UEF canonically does slavery. Yeah, but they look way cooler. Here's another thing to consider there, Incredon. They do look a lot better than the Cybrans. The scientist was anti-slavery. <sighs> Fuck. He's got me over a fucking barrel here. They've got me over a fucking barrel. Well, I just can't have anything, can I? Huh? Can't have anything then about being tied to slavery. Shit. God damn it. We're gonna have, um... Imagine staying in the Confederacy because their uniforms look better. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, it's not good, no. U UEF does ivory trading too? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That doesn't do anything good for me. I'm on the move. In a related news, Tennessee just banned slavery this week. Yeah, I saw that. Good job, America. Better late than never. So I I don't think they actually did though, which is another wrinkle on top of that. One percent to Nictus. Taking fire over here. We're still on pace to get some meld here, perhaps. I won't do nine damage of a laser rifle shot, I don't think. Yeah, easy I won't. Easy I won't. So now we're gonna go to the pistols though, I think. Oh, yeah! Promote Uneral... Uneral? Promote Urinal Deuce Legend. What, are the, what a great gamer. That's affirmative. You up to there. Now, I know all our caps keep failing, but I'm sure this one... I'm sure of this one it's time for our luck to turn around. The first non-outsider cap of the campaign. You saw it here. Aye, aye. Empty cap. <laughs> Permission to use a real gun, so sir. Funny. I've set up a lot of caps in a lot of different missions. This is why you need repair. This is literally why you need repair. More of a fight. They didn't look so tough this time around. Fucking bullshit, though. All right, Lone Wolf. At least we got the meld, right? Yeah, at least we got the meld. At least we got one of them. We will be in touch, Commander. I think we should fire whichever engineering person made this design, Chen. I think we should blame them. I think we should. Is there a coder we can blame for this? Whichever coder wrote the least lines of code on the arc, Thor or Shen. I don't have time to handle the details. Johnny Lump made it because in vanilla it's 80% max. True. Smallfox Jenkins says Beagle Musk. Yeah, that's something you can get if you're at a very high Patreon tier. Send in a little jar. Let's continue. It's immediately time for the covered extraction on Operation Burning Stranger. Excellent. We look oh, it's Observatory! The map, that is hell. XCOM mod nexus, remove... XCOM mod nexus. This mission is stealing your ability to see Gangplank today, folks. 
Exalt Mod Nexus Search Exalt. Exalt Covered Extraction Mission Rework. Exalt Intel Tweak. XCOM Custom Mission Crystals vs. Exalt. Exalt Scan Reminder. Exalt Missions Reworked. Hmm. XCOM Exalt Covered Extraction Mission Rework. Long War and Enemy Within. This mod changes the spawn location for XCOM troops in covert extraction missions for Long War and Enemy Within. For Long War, there are some balance changes to the missions. Super Sky Ranger applies the plus two bonus, and the Exile pods have been reworked. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is spawn point extraction forces spawn next to the operative. That might actually be harder. The Exile pods have been rebalanced. Super Sky Ranger now has the plus two soldier limit for this mission type, giving it much more use in the mid game. So yeah, I've also included a, a default version bringing back two maps. Yeah. Okay, that's not really what I want. Exalt missions reworked. Oh, a collection of exalt related mods. Remove them completely or make them harder. By Wasteland Ghost in... Oh no, this is in 2013. This probably doesn't work with Long War. Fuck! Requirements. UPK utils. This is, this is last updated 11th of March 2014. I don't think this works with Long War. But, it, but if it had... This is by Wasteland Ghost. This is how you know this is the, the old lore. And if it had, it would do turn off exalt missions. Exalt radar arrays effect off. Use this mod to remove the sailing shot effect applied to exalt. Why would I want that wasteland ghost? She 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 always had she, she was always a, a a powerful. I always had powerful ideas. Powerful ideas about balance. Exalt squam composition. Oh, this is this is for vanilla though. This is before Exalt got buffed to be insane, that's right. Weapons mod. Elite gives it elite exalt units plasma weapons. Oh my god. Exalt weighs my Okay, well neither of those help. So carrying on with my lumps that I have to take. Who's going on this one? Yeah, we're gonna take our Johnny lumps, that's right. How long do I have for this? I have 48 hours, which is good because it means I can wait for a lieutenant to come back. And the officers are like essential to getting these missions done. Though this is one of the hardest maps possible to hit and get out, I think. <laughs> Emperor Annie Duck is just right out of nowhere. Like this is a real sniper shot from out of nowhere. Beagle, are you ever worried about your income being tied directly to your popularity? It feels like that would have a lot of existential dread attached. I hope you're handling it all okay, and I hope your toilet gets fixed proper. Yes! Yes, Emperor Anidakis, yes! I worry about that literally every day. Every single day of my life. I Sometimes I forget to worry about it. But I'm glad you reminded me to be thinking about it right now, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. I love that innocent and helpful comment. Like out of nowhere. Thank you, Ted from debate. Ted from debate has just fifty-six dollars. A beagle. Hope you are doing well. Bless the vod channel for keeping me up to date on this campaign, and bless you for the years of content. You are my little pop shampoo budopia uwe moticon sorridente. Oh, Italian is not how to say uwe. Thank you, Ted from debate for this. It's very kind of you. I appreciate it. Um, I feel like I, I'm at work and my job is to feed ravenous crocodiles uh, from a tightrope with raw chicken just like strapped all over my body for like convenient easy access to tear it off and then throw down into the pit um, which is also electrified there's also an electrified like element to it the crocodiles don't care about but I will of course care about if I fall in and then someone who is like a really big legitimately a big fan of my work over from the bank waves over to me and says hey you're not worried about falling in are you I hope you're going okay it must be really really very quite worrying are you worried about that I, ho I hope you're doing okay that must be fucking taxing on your mental man <laughs> no, I, I do appreciate it though, Anidak, because it's nice of you to think of that, honestly. No, I appreciate it. it. It is definitely a concern for me. No, no, you didn't hurt me. We're just having a bit of a laugh. It's all good. No, no, I appreciate it. It's nice that you think of that, Anidak, because it is nice that you think of that. 
This is more like Annie Darkus giving me a pat on the back after I've come back in from the tightrope and being like, "Have you, th have you thought about this? Maybe, maybe this is unhealthy." <laughs> Why would Beagle worry? He's been dead since 2012. <laughs> Uh, anyway! I would believe the rumors that I've been dead since 2012 and this has all been like a heavenly dream. Because that's when I met Jamble and she's too good to be true. I can't stop. I guess I have to take Pig General. I'll have another scout to exhaust worst case for with consumer, right? Yes, I will. I don't really want to take a high ranking scout in case the same thing happens as last time. I guess I could get a new one. What about Hoon Hong? Let's get let's take Hoon Hong on the mission, which we sadly have to raffle that soldier. Raise your hongers. Yeah, if you want to, you can raise your hongers. That would be fine. Bum bum. Who else do I need more? More infantry? Just take a bunch of specialists. Fuck it. At least then my campaign doesn't get ruined when they die on RNG like the last time. Raffle time, kids. Raffle time. Do I still lose the gear? So I probably shouldn't just take all specialists, actually. I am now realizing. Probably would be good to, like, try a little bit. the fuck? What the fuck just happened to my cursor? Oh god, my mouse is dying. What the fuck? Oh no, I just literally dragged it across some fluff. We're okay. What if you just don't give them any gear? Yeah, that's a cute idea, but... Anyway, yeah, I gotta wait for the officer now, yep. Yeah. Alright, so you just gotta wait. Um, how long was that? Where's the fucker? Uh, 19 hours for QJW. Commander, we just received a priority one request from the council. Oh, fuck. It's time. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Okay. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results... Gangplank coming in literally at the last second. And that is not a statement this council... Yeah, we got a great A. We're gonna get Imperial Scions for free this month. Yay. God, you imagine how good it'll be to have some Imperial Scions right now, though, for real? 120 aim dude shows up with the hell gun. Yes, please. Are you working on an X Times other class? That's fun. It's fun in the darkest. You gonna you your players looking forward to it, or are you just doing it as a hobby? Remember, we will be watching. Well, I guess we're doing gangplank first. I guess today is gangplank. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Yeah, the discretion, the giant battleship up over fucking... Oh, you had to throw in the exhaustion, didn't you, you piece of shit? Oh, so close to then smoke, too. Da-da-da-da-da, I'm hating it. Let's go, Gangplank team. Time to do an exhaust. Unfortunately, everyone is like hours away from not being exhausted. 
Oh well. Oh well. Bamboo. Can we speak energy to dead smoke? Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, yes. Zhang is one hour off. It's faded. It's faded to be. Let me just have some breakfast. Then I'm right there with you. I just need a little bit of my usual breakfast. Sure, Zhang. You're a hero. Take all the time you need. We never look down on you for that. And then Zhang sits there and starts piling raw hot dogs and uncooked macaroni and cheese into a bowl. And then just starts pouring powdered milk onto a... Never just stares. <laughs> Test, does I hate that image, Beagle? Do you? Do you hate the image of Zhang doing that just so as everyone stares surreptitiously from the side? I think it's a great image. I'm going to exhaust the entire fucking team for this. Smallpox says, hey, what the fuck? Hey, what the fuck? He can take it on the Sky Ranger and eat it mid-flight. Mid yeah, just this really tense flight over at like Mach fucking a billion. Except for the only noise you can hear over this, the fucking scramjet engines is like him eating this concoction that is at the same time both the squishiest, rawest thing and also like just the crunchiest, most chalky meal you've ever heard being eaten. <laughs> you, you ask him something like Zhang, like, why the fuck do you eat that stuff? And he looks over and he's like, what? He says with his mouth full and his teeth are just like, they're just like raw, like, Sausage skin and mac and cheese powder just all over. Why are we going down this? I don't know why I'm adding more detail to this. Anyway, that's that's what Zhang's doing on the mission over. No one ever put me on the meal plan when I got here. I fell through the logistical cracks I've been... Scavenging supplies from the vending machines down by the pool table. Well, you didn't even use the microwave? The base has a microwave. I was not aware of that. Scout sniper infantry gun. I have three gunners, what am I doing? Like some kind of gray shirt looting all the space stations that need vending machines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly like that, that's right. Gunner, gunner, infantry, sniper, scout. You never infantry. More exhaustions. Choo choo, all aboard the exhaustion train. Uh, Stig. And then the engineer. So here, here it all comes down to. Will respecting you, uh, it should just add on, right? Let's find out. First I have to pick, I think. Okay. <laughs> Byrus says, oh shit, that's wrong. Pyrus says Zhang becomes one of those terrifying maintenance warrior assistants with enough improvised crafting and tools to field an army living in XCOM's walls. <laughs> exactly, yes. And if he lives through this mission, he's growing even stronger. But if he dies, he wasn't robust enough. Alright, so I go down to the engineer. Go to your abilities. Uh oh. You cannot respect fatigued soldiers. Oh no. Well, folks, 
We ain't gonna have no dense smoke on this operation. It ain't gonna happen. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Or is it look is it because you're on the mission? Last ditch attempt here. Uh-oh. Well This will just be a fun little journey, that's Excellent. all. Um, we, I don't think we can do operations sit in the opening lobby. Do you want to take a third gunner? So instead of grenades, we have... Instead of grenades, we just have a third gunner to tank with, or even another medic? You ever played Fingerspoint game? I did, but I, I, I hated it, birthday. Oh, thank Emperor you, Emperor. Emperor Trattino Basso Enidaka says just tipped 20 dollars. He forgot to do this last weekend. Thanks for being such a cool streamer and giving out all that sweet parasocial fulfillment. Thank you, Emperor Anidakas. My favorite chatter from that one landed medium Rose Sigma mission. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Tricus's shotgun infantry. I, I think like another gunner, another tech sergeant gunner maybe instead. Or a medic. I think either another double tap will survive gunner or another medic to heal the gunners I have. Because more med kits allows me to tank longer on this mission. And I think I'm going to have to go fight this mission in the half cover. Which means a lot of wounds, which means I need a lot of med kits. It also allows me to bring more smoke. Which is what I wanted to bring on the engineer anyway. Did a laser sword? No. No, I don't have another gun. That's right. I can't bring more gunners. You're right. I think another medic might be the way to go. I think it's going to have to be another medic. After all that, Tigre. No, not you. I just said that. Do I have a medic who's appropriate? I have Lieutenant Dutch in two hours, but then I don't have a Lieutenant for the Covered Extraction, so that's not really good. I don't have another good medic. Unless you just bring medkits. That... Ugh, but a fucking Specialist Beagle? That's a bit... That's a bit rich, isn't it? A Specialist on Gangplank? That's a bit much. That's a bit much, isn't it? That's a bit rich. Maybe not another medic. SWF Delicious, are you here? I know what I can do. I actually know what I can do here. I could take two scouts, and instead of respecting the engineer, I could respec one of the scouts to have hit and run. I lose a scout for 30 days, and then I have to convert them back if I want to consume it again afterwards. But I could get a hit and run scout for Gangplank, which could be good. SWF, I'm still not convinced of it. SWF said that he did that really well. I don't really know how you make that work, though, because he said a scout with hit and run killed nine mutons, but how do you get that scout to not get just roll the intimidate and get stuck in the open after their shots? Like, do you just kill every shot? How did that work? You would build for Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf. I don't think you get the play for a month, right? No, I think you get it, right? Lone Wolf take an alien trophy? That doesn't stop your own panic, does it? It only stops others. Or it only stops you panicking from others. Let me see. For any panic when you're wounded or not, Okay, so you gotta take the... It does prevent intimidate. It does. It just doesn't prevent side panic, that's all. So you need to take an alien trophy and an alloy plating. You take the shotgun. 
And your build would be... Isn't that what happened to the medic? No. The build would be Lone Wolf. Low profile. So you can hunker on that half cover near the doorway. Aggression. And hit and run. And your, your operation would be, you hold that back room still, but the difference is now, you have this scout stay up there with the shotgun. And then you have the two gunners sitting on the corners. Every turn, where you're fighting the maximum of the two mutons on, on each side there, you suppress the mutons, you run in, hit and run, run back. You run in, hit and run, run back. And then hunker. Well, you I mean you can't hunker, sorry. You run in, you run in, hit and run, run back. And hopefully the suppression and the half cover works out. Can you bring an assault to do that? Um Why would I? Also no. That's Sergeant. An assault would be able to do it with inbuilt steadfast if you wanted, or CCS if they push in. Um, aggression or ranger, and then hit and run or CE. Maybe this is what we do here. Maybe it's the double scout time. SWF swore by this. I'm not gonna have concealment scouts for any other operation. It's gonna be like a bit of a fucking issue. But SWF swore by this shit. SWF, SWF came in here last weekend and was like, you know what, Beagle? Why don't you just take a hit and run scout on Gangplank and just trivialize the entire mission? And SWF told me, he said, he said straight into my eyes, I had a hit and run scout kill nine mutons by themselves, and it was it was a cinch. It was easy. That's what SWF told me. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Don't throw away too much consumer for one mission. This mission is worth it. This mission is incredibly important, and both times we fought this mission, it's been incredibly difficult, which means we haven't found a good strategy for it yet. I think we do it. I think we actually do it. So my mech rush is good because you know it's a hit and run but better. Scout but better. Pathfinder, yeah. Alright, Pig General. If that is your real name. Wait, why can't I clear you? You do have to be off the mission list. And I don't have dense smoke, so it's gonna go worse than last time. I think I'm gonna do it this way. Take them out. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna fucking do it. Lone Wolf, because they're going to be up there on their own, probably. I think. Lone Wolf. Not that you really need it, but I mean, the extra crit, you should crit every time at least. So yeah, 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 yeah. Lone Wolf. No, you can do an because you're on the mission. No, I took him out and I still couldn't. Lone Wolf, low profile, aggression, hit and run. If you were a big Chad in the zone, but no. Hit and run. Reliable. Pig General, you are going to have a lot of vacation time after this. But if we win this mission, it's all worth it. Very Chris says, if you plan to run a metal loss after a hit and run, I can't. I can't run a metal loss. That's the thing about that position. That's This position is very awkward. 
I need the low profile as well. I need aggression. And I need hit and run. All right. We're going to do the SWF Delicious Strat. Excellent. You'll notice I'm very heavily attaching the branding of this strategy to SWF Delicious so that if it doesn't work, it's his fault. If it does work, I'm good at the game. I want you to pay attention to the difference there. There's a, there's a big important difference. Uh, medic, you need to give back the carapace for this operation then, unfortunately. Hishma says, if it's good on Gangplank, it could be nice to have scouts do similar on base assault since they've got similar maps. Yeah, maybe. It'd be amazing if the scout was a gunny you'd give him, bring him on. Yeah, it would be. Alien trophy. When it prevents panic when you are wounded. When an ally is killed, wounded the panic, you know, when an alien rolls loudly to intimidate you. Okay. And we need fuck, we need a sparrow plate. Fuck, that's annoying. Okay, Durzo here, who is gonna be the concealment scout, just has to give it up. No, I'm just fucking kidding, guys. Come on, I'm just, I'm just fucking kidding. Of course not. Of course fucking not. Here, you give me that. You bring a med kit. You're gonna be all recon on this operation. Playing. All right, pig general. I'm gonna tint you the same color as the alien walls to blend in. See what you can do. We're actually betting a lot of our strat here on you. Then we have Carapace. Ready. Ready. I mean, hell, if this works, you probably, like, just drop a lot of units, like, and just take, like, two hit-and-run scouts on this mission and drop the sniper as well next time if this works aliens can't see neon pink oh cool oh word cool i didn't know that yeah word awesome that's awesome This is the team. This is the moment. This is the operation. Take a hit and run scout resetting assault, or both, yeah. Take a hit and run scout and a res an early resilience tank assault, because assaults get resilience before the gunners do. Close encounters assault, but especially for this mission. You can even bring a marksman scout as a second. Yeah, also true. I think Bounty's right, though, that the real thing to rush on tack next time is try and figure out how to get mechs faster, probably. Which is more difficult, by the way, Alien Base Assault or Gangplank? Gangplank. Yeah, I was about to say this. The reason that Gangplank is the most fucked mission, probably in the entire campaign in one sense, is because you don't get to pick when it starts. 
That's what makes Gangplank so difficult, is you can't just sit around and, and be like, I'm ready for Gangplank. Like, Gangplank comes whether you, you know, want it or not. This is, like, this is Gangplank we're going on. Scout, gunner, gunner, infantry, infantry, sniper, medic, scout. Alright! Let's make it pop, I guess. Buffer, bear back. Touching down. Gangplank. We're heading into China for the next operation. Thank you, Bradford. Always a man of many words lately. Thank you so much. <laughs> 